My name is Barry Greenaway. I'm the product manager for Skyjack for our telehandler line and our rough train scissor line. And <laughs> obviously today I'm here to talk about the telehandler line. Um, in particular with uh, the work we're engaged in right now with CVT Corp on introducing a optional CVT transmission on our full telehandler range. When I say full range, that's all the TH telehandlers, 643, 843, 1044 and 1056. So uh, we wanted to drive return on investment with our customers and help promote that. And um, some of the things, some of the advantages of that CVT transmission were directly related to that. Number one, the greater efficiency that it can operate at. So part of the benefit of us going forward with 74 horse, um, I think we went into a good amount of depth on how that helps our customers return investment in terms of a simpler machine with more uptime. Also helps our customers' customers, the end users, save money on uh, fuel costs. We can go even further down that road with the greater efficiencies offered on a mechanical CVT system. So not only is the transmission itself more efficient in terms of how much power is lost in the transmission itself, but in terms of um, the CVT allowing the engine to operate in its proper RPM range for maximum uh, fuel economy while delivering the performance that the end user requires. Um, so that's going to have a, an extra double head effect uh, with our Smart Torque 74 horse solution for dramatically reducing fuel savings. And with the increased efficiency that it gets, um, we're expecting to see benefits when we come to testing in terms of attractive effort, in terms of achievable ground speeds, and in terms of uh, um, great ability that the, the machine will deliver with the same horsepower and same engine package behind it. Second thing is uh, ease of use and tied in with ease of use is uh, prevention of operator abuse. The, the operator is never in the wrong power band or the wrong gear for the transmission. It operates fully automatically to increase decrease ratios as the power demand requires. So you're not getting situations where an operator is just leaving it in a roading gear whenever they're trying to lift 8,000 pound up a verge or up, a, up an incline. So the stresses in the transmission and drive train itself are significantly reduced over a traditional power shift type operation. So all of that we're wanting to feed into longer service life, decreased downtime, increased uptime. We're expecting to put test units out into the field in uh, the fourth quarter of this year. Uh, with uh, hopefully customer deliveries into the early part of 2017.